Hey everybody. <clears throat> so normally I don't work at this time of day, but I have errands to do. So um, in the meantime, I thought I'd get another one of these con commissions done. Well, by done, I mean at least going. So I, I got to ink this. I've given myself about two hours tops to do it. Um, might take me less time. Could take me an hour. It's not a complicated character. So, um, this is a jury or Yuri, whatever, from Street Fighter 4. <coughs> so. Hey, what's up?
Sorry, guys. One second. Hey, what's up, Psycho? Sub Dom. Oh, nice. What's up? Do you want a bit of clam? Uh, yeah. See how it goes. If it works out, then I think moving forward on the interior art, on the Mega Visions, I'll be coloring her stuff. Moving forward. We'll see. Let me ink this top part. I'm still in coloring mode, so my drawing hand is like, ah, uh, what are we doing? We're drawing.
<sighs> Thanks. Yeah, once the uh, <clears throat> my regular comic work stops, starts up a game cave. There'll be plenty of landscape art in there. I basically just took a lot of those techniques, and that's how I do my color refuse now.
Hey, what's up, Johnny? My artwork has been heavily influenced by any one, any one person? No. I'm just a hodgepodge of stuff I grew up with and deadlines and personal interest. I mean, Image 92 is probably the most influential thing on me just because I saw the power of, you know, self-publishing. The original Ninja Turtles. In terms of, like, art influence, like, oh, this artist, I, I you know, this one has the most... Nah. I'm a blend of animation, 90s comics, probably the... You know, the covers of the video game magazines from, you know,
until I do something different, then it's like, you know, when I draw gritty style, you know, then that's definitely like Image Comics, 90s stuff, you know. But like, let's take these round spikes, right? Like, I could just go like this, you know, but I'm just looking at it like, oh, what if I made a more, you know, conish. And that's just me playing with shapes. Sometimes I want more cartoonier faces like this. Sometimes I want more, you know, sort of sexier image comic-y faces like the Enslaved or the Cupid, you know. When I'm drawing these little, like, commissions, <clears throat> it's just easier to do more cartoonier faces. So I'm not spending a long time trying to get That other look down. But I don't have any. I can't point to one artist and be like, that's my most biggest influence. Which is why so many people tend to go, I, I see this in your art. I, I see that in your art. You know, they see Drew Struzan and they see you know, Capcom, and they see McFarlane, and they see, <laughs> you know, just goes on and on, which is nice, you know. Sorry, guys, I'm trying not to do that. It's just sneaking up on me. Probably the 90s, right? That's my, my teenage years. So anything in there, probably my biggest influence. Yeah, I mean, like, a lot of my, you know, a lot of my published work is a product, not so much of me going, oh, I'd like to draw like this. Half of it's like, well, that's all that would get approved. <laughs> like, I can't be uber creative on, like, the Super Cheat Codes cover art, you know, because Capcom has to approve that shit. And if I get too creative, it's not going to work out. As we found out last summer. So. But even when I was in high school, I'd, you know, I would do a whole piece, you know, like a McFarlane style. Then I would flip around and do the same piece in a Jeff Smith bone style. <laughs> like, what if you made this stuff bonish, but it was serious too, you know, like. And then I would do it in an anime style. I'd draw the same pieces three or four times in just different styles, you know. Than like a Bruce Tim art style.
Yeah, well, Capcom didn't choose me. The licensors, the people who produced the book, chose me. But, you know. It's the way it works, man. So, I mean, it turned out alright. It's not my best drawn thing, but it's cool, you know. It's funny, you know, with these commissions, I I definitely try to play with proportions and experiment, you know, and uh, it's funny when I get people that I went to college with or sometimes even ex-girlfriends who, like, clown it, you know, like, how do they, I had an ex-girlfriend the other day crack a joke on my art, you know, it was funny, I was like, oh, I was a little hater. The fans jump in though, so I never have to say shit, but it's funny. I figure that's just when you know you're doing something right, you know, it's challenging. Challenges people. Doesn't bug me though, I don't go, oh. <laughs> the only thing that bugs me is when I go to draw something and just, I'm not happy with it. Like, I'm like, well, that fucking missed the mark.
And I'm going to get some people when they see the Transformers covers go, her feet are too big, man. You need to learn to draw feet. Like, yeah, I don't know how to draw feet. You got me. <laughs> I mean, I'll never respond to it, you know. It's pointless. But it's going to happen. Yeah, I know, you know, so I don't really, it doesn't bother me. I mean, one of the things that, when I draw my look, my comics, you know, man, they're going to have a cartoony edge to them because it's what I draw quickly. I draw cartoons fast. I couldn't draw a Batman book like I did the Gritty Batman because I don't do that very fast, you know. It's not natural to me to draw like that. It, I can do it. It's fun. But it's more like a one-off. Like, oh, this is cool, you know? Just like when I saucy paint. Like, I can't do a whole saucy book. Well, that was my whole point, too. Like, the Mickey Mouse thing. It's like, you know Calvin and Hobbes, right? You know Calvin could never walk with those proportions. You know, he doesn't even have kneecaps. <laughs> These are cartoons. You know? So... Do you think Comic-Con and Saucy would read easily? No, it's not intended. It wouldn't read at all. It'd be no point. No.
that stuff's for gallery. I mean, I purposefully designed it so, you know, it's something that would only work on your wall or, you know, like in a gallery or something. It's art gallery stuff. And I don't want to watercolor backgrounds. I don't want to do watercolor sky and paint grass and shit. It's just not what I want to do. Uh, you know, in order for that to work, I would have to paint the whole thing. You know, that it's not really the point.
yeah, well, you know, they just take all the shortcuts. You know, they take shortcuts and they don't actually learn how to do anything. So, you know. They don't learn how to do stuff and then take shortcuts. So they just shortchange themselves at the end of the day. Anytime they find out my process, they go, well, what if you use this program to speed this up? And what if you use that? And what if you, I'm just fucking, fucking stop. Stop. With the fucking endless shortcuts, automation. Fucking, there's just one extra easier way to do something. At some point, just fucking stop it and just do the fucking work. You know, like, it gets old, man. It just gets old. Everything's a feature, you know. And they draw over endless photos and all their stuff is very humanly proportioned, but it's like, well, that ain't going to help you drawing the fucking Simpsons. Tracing over photos ain't going to help you when you get, it's just ridiculous. You know, it just goes on and on and on. I mean, half of them can improve their portfolio overnight if they just spent a year focusing on construction. You know? <clears throat> yeah, that shortcut and everything, dude, just... It builds up after a while, you know? <coughs> it builds up. And it develops a mental set. It develops a certain mindset that just, you know, that I will not adopt. I've paid my dues. I've paid my dues. I've worked under the, some of the most harshest art conditions in terms of a workplace one can. I know all the shortcuts. If I'm not doing it, it's because I'm purposefully not doing it.
It's like, I love Johnny, dude. Johnny's fucking dope. But, I mean, we were having that conversation in the last interview we did, you know, about flats. And he's like, well, this makes it really easy. I'm like, Johnny, at the end of the day, it's still work. The flats are still work. The only way you're going to really speed up any time is if fucking someone else does the work. You know, he's like, no, 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 it works out. And then, with, like, a few weeks ago, he was like, I'm hiring someone to do flats. I'm like, right, because it's still work. There is no fucking <coughs> get out of jail free card. You know? The only way around that is to sit down and just digi paint the whole thing really rough and then sort of, you know, hone the shapes down. And that's why you end up with, that's where all this digi paint stuff came from. You know? So they end up with these super realistic painted things. And look, it's very pretty to look at, but everybody looks the fucking same, man. Everybody looks the same, dude. I can't tell one digital fucking painted thing from the next. You know? They all just look the same. You know? And I'm like, I'm that I'm I'm completely against when it comes to selling my art. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I'm gonna sit here and just create a bunch of fucking cookie cutter you know, trendy fucking art, because I did that shit in t-shirts, you know, every week, the art director would be like, this look, that look, this look, that look, this look, that look, this look, that look, you know, for 10 fucking 12 years, it gets ridiculous, you know, but to get back to the, like, the flatting thing, and he was like, oh, if you just, you know, select this, and you can select, uh, you know, I'm like, you can do that in Photoshop with, just click the wand, Set it to select all layers and then refine the edge. You set refine edge to one button. It does the same fucking thing. Like, there's no difference. You know, but it's still going to be work. If that's how you... I don't flat that way because I don't flat that way. I have too many fucking details to be paint bucketing every little fucking nook and cranny in my heart, you know? So, I just say, look, the flats are going to take some time, you know, and I, I, I allot for that time. And the only way to get out of it is to pay someone else to do it. And independent comics cease to become profitable the minute you start paying other people, you know. So, if I want to do my comics as a charity, you know, then that's one fucking thing, but... Just produce less work, you know? Make sure the work you produce is the best you could do every time you do it. And, you know, it'll take care of itself. And constantly think about what it is you're doing. Make sure you're not parodying yourself. Parodying comes when you're just moving too fast, when you're doing too much. You know? What time is it? 8.30. <sighs> Let me see. (laughs) 
All right, folks. This is ready for black inks and shade and shit, um, which I will do later. So it's going to dry. Uh, I got errands I got to go run. So what are we doing tonight? We're going to do the black inks and shade on this. And I got to draw Mega Visions. I got to start drawing that. We'll see how that goes. Because they need that cover this week. They are behind schedule. They were behind schedule, and now I'm behind even further. So it's just unfortunately the way it worked. Um, quick note to you all in the chat room. So you know, I made a post on my Twitter yesterday about a place called Mibe, M-I-B-E Music. And right now they got some third-party bot of theirs. Uh copywriting a grip of my videos claiming two songs my theme song that you hear when i start up and sometimes another song they're claiming that is some other music i've already disputed it in one but their fucking little bot is tagging every fucking video with that shit and so i'm trying to like i hit them up and i'm trying to harass them a little bit so if you could check out my twitter thing and send them a fucking note to like you know lay the fuck off rob because all my music's licensed through a guy named Ron Pissarro. I know him. He's a fucking hella cool composer. And their shit's just fucking ridiculous. So I have 900 videos. So I could end up... Like right now they're trying to claim copyright on some of my most... You know, the ones that... The few that I have 100,000 views on. Like they're trying to claim those too. It's just so ridiculous. So um, if you can throw them a little bit of harassment, Rob would appreciate it. <sighs> I will be back on later today, folks. Peace. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>